Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create web service client using Axis2. I am using Eclipse to create the client project. In the Eclipse, select File, New, select Dynamic Web Project. I am giving the project name as Test Web Service Client. Select dynamic web module version as 2.5. In the configuration section, select modify, select access to web services, click OK, click finish button. So this will create the So the project got created. Already the Tomcat is set up and started in Eclipse. I will add this project, the client project in server. So it is already added. So if it is not added, you can see the project on the left hand, left hand side. Select that and click on add. So it will get added. So click finish button. Select the client project, right click, go to new, select other. So under web services, select web service client. Here in service definition, we need to provide WSDL path. In the last tutorial, we have created a test web service. I will take WSDL file for that project. So this is the WSDL URL for test web service. Then select web service runtime Apache access option. Select Apache access to click OK button. Click finish. So this will create some of the stub classes and dependent classes through which the application, the client application can invoke the method of web service. So we can see those stub classes under Java resources, src, com, and these are the two classes which it has created. Now I will create a client class. This is a simple class. I will give the class name as test ws client. So this will be present in com package. Click finish. I already have the code. I will copy and I will paste here. So basically this is the client class containing main thread. So it will create object of stub classes. Uh, now, just now we have seen these stub classes which has been created by Eclipse. So, these classes. So, with the help of stub class, it will call get some result. So, this is the method which was present in web service. Save it. Now, I will run the application. So, we can see the output. So these are the steps we need to follow to create web service client. That's the end of tutorial. Thank you.